What's up guys? So this is sadly my last morning with the GFX 50S. So Fuji sent this out to me on loan and it's safe to say I'm obsessed with it. So I've been putting it head to head with the Fujifilm X-T3. We all know how amazing the focusing system and the files and everything is from here. The focusing system on here is still pretty damn good, but it's definitely not up to par with their X-T3 now. And uh, look at her, just begging for attention. You want attention? Yeah. But it's still pretty, it's, again, it's still pretty damn good. I'm, I came from DSLRs. Um, I shot with all Canon's DSLRs and everything. And the focusing, focusing, it was good on those. The last camera I had from them though was the 6D. And uh, I just would use center focusing points on there. And so to me, all these cameras are constantly a huge upgrade. Cause again, I've been shooting for over eight years now and cameras never had great autofocus, uh, autofocusing. I mean, back then we thought it, it was good autofocusing. And then when you get into these mirrorless systems and all that, you're just like, uh, I'm so behind. Um, so yeah, to me, the focusing is still pretty damn good on this. It's definitely a little bit slower, which I like though, cause it kind of slows me down and makes me think about the shot. And also with the files, uh, the burst rate, a lot of people were saying like, this camera's not meant for like on location fashion and it's only for like portraits or landscape and stuff like that. I do not agree with that. I shot fashion that was uh, a model running and jumping and I was just doing burst. You do have a lot of blackout going on, but I mean, I know if I'm directing the model and I'm setting my focusing up, I'm gonna get the shot. So again, I'll put some of the, the frames up on here so you can see that. And I don't know, when, when, when I would shoot with both of these cameras, I would start off with this and then I'd go to the GFX and I would just keep the GFX. I wouldn't go back to my X-T3. There's just something, I don't know, there's like magic to it. So I still love my X-T3, don't get me wrong, but I mean, there's just, there's, there's something special about it. So yeah, I'm in love. Um, I think the next one I'll try is the 50R. Uh, let me know what questions you guys have. I'll put a bunch of shots in this. Um, just a little quick video about it. The weight on it, um, I don't think the weight's a big, big deal. The size of it, I don't know, all of it. Like, uh, all the little complaints I've heard people say about the, the GFX systems, I don't know why they're complaining. Like, maybe they're newer photographers or something and they're, they've been spoiled by smaller cameras. To me, this is still a lot better than a DSLR. From focusing to image quality to dynamic range to size and weight, it's still better to me. Um, but yeah, so yeah, they sent me out the GFX 50S with the 120 F4. Um, I'm really wanting to try the 110 F2 and um, a wide angle lens from them because that's usually my setup is I rock a lot of just like telephoto and then a lot of wide and not really go in between too much. Um, besides with the Fujifilm uh, XF uh, 56 1.2, uh, it's a magical lens. Um, but yeah, guys, I don't know. There's, I don't really have much to say about it. Uh, I didn't have any issues with this at all, like at all. I'm trying to think of, of something, but it's just a solid camera. And again, anyone that's complaining about it, there's, I'm, I'm assuming they're been spoiled by the newer camera system. So they well, back in the day, they didn't have autofocus and all that. And yeah, yeah, I know like it's, this is today and blah, blah, blah. But most of the most timeless, um, lasting images were shot with manual cameras, you know, they were on film. They weren't shot with like these computers in their hands. Um, so I don't know. I just don't get why people complain about it. Um, but yeah, this is just a rock star camera. I'm obsessed with it. I really want to try the GFX 100. Um, I would never need 100 megapixels. Um, even if I was being hired for uh, billboard ads or anything like that. Uh, 50 megapixels is plenty enough for that. So yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't, wouldn't need the 100 megapixels. But uh, again, the focusing system, it's more comparable to XT3. So that would be kind of fun to play with. And uh, yeah, guys, I don't know. I wish this was a more interesting video, but I ain't got much to, to say about it. It's just, it's awesome. I don't know. Yeah, I guess that's it. Sorry, y'all. Peace.